In general, meteorites from asteroids are primarily progress objects with a velocity of 10 up to 40 km per second. Originating from comets, micrometeoroids can reach a velocity of 70 km per second because they can be retrograde. In the solar system, all major planets orbit the Sun counterclockwise as seen from the North Ecliptic Pole. Most planets spin in the same sense, including Earth. These motions are called prograde. Rotation in the opposite sense is called retrograde. For low Earth orbit, micrometeoroids are a minor part of the microparticle environment. In geosynchronous orbits, micrometeoroids are more likely to be encountered than space debris and for interplanetary missions, natural particles are the only hazard with respect to microparticles. Meteorites travel around the Sun in a variety of orbits and at various velocities. The fastest ones move at about 26 miles per second through space in the vicinity of Earth's orbits. The Earth travels at about 18 miles per second. Thus, when meteorites meet the Earth's atmosphere head-on, the combined speed may reach about 44 miles per second. The compositions of meteorites can be determined as they pass through Earth's atmosphere from their trajectories and the light spectra of the resulting material. Their effects on radio signals also yield information, especially useful for daytime materials which are otherwise very difficult to observe. From these trajectory measurements, meteorites have been found to have many different orbits, some clustering in stream, often associated with a parent's comet, others apparently sporadic. Debris from meteoroid stream may eventually be scattered into other orbits. The light spectra combined with trajectory and light curve measurements have yielded various compositions and densities ranging from foggy snowball light object with density about a quarter that of ice to nickel iron rich dense rocks. A meteorite will heat up and grow when it enters the Earth's atmosphere. Usually, they burn up in the atmosphere, causing a meteor shower to happen. This event is sometimes referred to as a shooting star. A meteorite are small particles in space. When a meteorite enters Earth's atmosphere, then it is called a meteor. When a meteor does not burn up in Earth's atmosphere and also strike Earth, it is called a meteorite. Although meteors have been known since ancient times, they were not known to be an astronomical phenomenon until early in the 19th century. Prior to that, they were seen in the West as an atmospheric phenomenon like lightning and were not connected with strange story of rocks falling from the sky. Meteors typically occur in the mesosphere, and most range in altitude from 75 km to 100 km. Millions of meteors occur in the Earth's atmosphere every day. Most met meteoroids that cause meteors are about the size of a pebble. They become visible between about 40 and 75 miles above the Earth. They disintegrate at altitude of 30 to 60 miles. Meteors have roughly a 50% chance of a daylight collision with the Earth as the Earth orbits in the direction of roughly west at noon. Most meteors are, however, observed at night as low light conditions allow fainter meteors to be observed. Meteors may occur in showers which arise when the Earth passes through a trail of debris left by a comet, or as random or sporadic meteors, not associated with a specific single cause. A number of specific meteors have been observed. 
largely by members of the public and largely by accident, but with enough details that orbits of the incoming meteors or meteorites have been calculated. All of them came from orbits from the vicinity of the asteroid belt. Meteor crater was formed in 10 seconds. About 50,000 years ago, a meteor struck the Earth, blasting a hole into the landscape about 700 feet deep and 3 quarters of a mile wide. More than 175 million tons of rock were thrown into the air. Hurricane force wind blew in all directions. Today, you can see the abyss left by this impact at a museum about 35 miles east of Flagstaff. A meteorite is a portion of a meteoroid or asteroid that survives it passes through the atmosphere and impact with the ground without being destroyed. Meteorites are sometimes, but not always, found in association with hypervelocity impact craters. During energetic collisions, the entire impactor may be vaporized, leaving no meteorites. Most meteoroids are destroyed when they enter the atmosphere. The leftover debris is called meteoric dust or just meteor dust. Meteor dust particles can persist in the atmosphere for up to several months. These particles may affect climate, both by scattering electromagnetic radiation, by catalyzing chemical reaction in the upper atmosphere.